Good morning, y'all. I'm just making a little bit of breakfast, having some hash browns this morning. I'm about to go get ready so we can get on with our day. Um, I'm just using some empty no on my hash browns. I need to run to the grocery store to grab a few things. And then I, it's a very rainy, cozy, dreary day here today. Um, and I have been craving that cracked chicken noodle soup that I made last year. So I think I'm gonna make it again today since it's such a nice rainy day. And then I also have been looking for like some very specific um, like home decor for our house. So I figure we can talk home decor, hopefully find some cute things and do a little bit of decorating too. I'm gonna go eat this breakfast and do my makeup and get ready and then we will head out. Okay, so I've got myself ready for the day. I'm thinking our first stop is gonna be TJ Maxx. There's one kind of close to our house and I've only been there one time. So I wanna go back because it was a good one. And then I'm thinking we're gonna stop by Tuesday morning. Y'all don't sleep on Tuesday morning. The past few times I have been in there, they have so many great things and not just like home decor, but also furniture. They had some cute little like, um, how do you say, kimonos. Like I bought one, it's precious. So many good things in there. So anyway, I wanna stop in there and then we'll go to Publix, get everything we need for our soup. Plus I just need a few more groceries and then we'll come back here, make the soup, decorate all the things. So anyways, let's head to TJ Maxx first. Okay, so I did not find anything home decor wise in TJ Maxx, but y'all, I am so happy. I have been looking for those Ray Dunn coffee mugs ever since we got the camper, and I don't really collect Ray Dunn anymore, but those I have been wanting because, of course, they are perfect for the RV, and when I saw them, I was like, oh my goodness, I got so excited. So, when I get home, I will show you the two that I got. It was so hard to choose between because they're all so cute. I should have just gotten all of them, but we already have a couple coffee mugs in there, so we don't need like a ton but y'all, ecstatic to find those. But now we're gonna head over to Tuesday morning and hopefully I can find some good home decor there. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna go on a little secret mission. I just realized that Jimmy John's is over here next to this TJ Maxx and I'm gonna run in there and get Bunky lunch and take it to him because if y'all don't know, this is like his favorite and he never gets Jimmy John's anymore. So this will be like a fun little surprise for him. Oh, and his order is always the Italian nightclub add hot peppers. That's his favorite. Okay, Mr. Bonky, I have a surprise for you. Mm. Can you guess what it is? Food. Jimmy John's. Yes. Oh my gosh. Are you excited? Yeah, I was about to uh, give myself some blueberries, but... <laughs> That's a lot better than blueberries. Far exceeds the blueberries. Now, they were not freaky fast today. No? I was like, Jimmy John's, come on. They took forever, but. You had to wait like five minutes instead of three? Oh no, I waited for like 20 minutes.
All right, so I'm home now. I have the chicken going behind me. We're cooking that up for our soup. But I want to show y'all what I got at TJ Maxx and at Tuesday morning. And y'all, I was blown away by Tuesday morning. Like, they have so many beautiful home decor finds, the fall and Halloween stuff. Um, those little, like, pumpkins that are orange and black and white, those are like a knockoff of Mackenzie Childs. And if you don't know what that is, it's very, very expensive. And that was like $15. So if you like Mackenzie Childs or you like that look, go to Tuesday morning. But Bunky doesn't even know that I got these yet. Are you ready? More surprises for me. It is coffee mugs, Bunky. Oh, gracious. But I have literally wanted these since we got the RV. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Happy camper. Oh. Oh, wow. So cute, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. When I saw these, you have no idea the excitement. When I, I was like, I have literally looked over and over for these things. Okay, you ready? Are you going to use that this weekend? Oh, yeah. Because we're going camping this weekend at Ocean Lakes. So I'm going to take these with us to put in the camper. So, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Is this one mine? Sure. You okay. ready? <laughs> Explomo. <laughs> Sorry. Explore it has, more. It has a little camper, too. Wow. So cute. But Bumpy, they had one that said grilling and chilling. They had one that said um, license to grill, and it had like little grill. I know. I should have got it for you, shouldn't I have? Bumpy. License to, to grill? That's like my Beastie Boys. No, it is. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to TJ Maxx and get that for you because it was so cute. I, I would love to see it. I'm gonna have to get it for you. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm hot if you can't tell. Now, Tuesday morning. I have been looking for one of these for quite a while and just never pulled the trigger on it, but this is like so big. It's even better than what I'm fishing. Yeah, it's but, so big you might have to step back a little bit. Yeah, so I got this like big, what do you call it? Wooden chain. It's a wood, I guess a wooden, wooden chain, yeah. Home decor piece. Yeah. But you know how everyone's putting these like on an entryway table or um, a coffee table like on top of books and I just love that look. So yeah. I love the color of this wood. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's befitting of our residence. Yes. And then I did go ahead and get one tall thing. <laughs> <laughs> I had to before it got going because the colors are so good. But I got this cute little pumpkin staff. I love it because it's still like traditional fall colors but they're a little bit muted yeah so so pretty are you excited yep okay so that's what i got i'm gonna finish cooking this chicken and then we're gonna decorate my coffee table because i've been wanting to like schnazz it up a little bit it's been mm. kind of boring to me mm -hmm. and then upstairs on our little landing y'all know my target um console table that i got that i love it needs to be redecorated so we're gonna redecorate those two things together and then make our soup. Hopefully everybody can hear over that chicken in the, the background <laughs> cooking away. It's really loud. Oh, and y'all, oh. tell me if you have tried this particular brand, Honey Barbecue Chips. We had them at my friend Sarah's house. What was it, like a week or two ago? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. They were the best barbecue chips I've ever had. So I saw them at Publix and I was like, I gotta get them because they're on sale. If y'all had these, tell me what you think down below because I swear they are the best barbecue chips. Popping in here to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. If you want to invest in yourself or your personal growth, or you have a specific skill that you have always wanted to learn or just know more about, Skillshare is for you. I've had so much fun taking classes about social media, how I can grow it even bigger and connect with you guys more. I've also taken classes about um, sharpening, no pun intended, my knife skills, and that has been really awesome as well. Skillshare has so many easy to use and engaging classes, whether you're thinking like film and video or illustration, music, photography. That's another one. I cannot wait to take a photography class. Um, if you like to do um, graphic design, things like that, there's so much you can learn with Skillshare. If you have a hobby that you are super passionate about or that you just want to master, you are going to be so excited because Skillshare is actually offering the first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up through my link in the description box 
you're going to get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, so let me show you kind of what we're working with here. Those windows blow this out, so I'm sorry if it's like really backlit. Um, but okay, first of all, Daisy May always sits on our pillows, and I don't want to make her move because I know she's super comfortable, but she's kind of ruined them. I can like fluff them up a little bit, but you can see they have seen better days. So eventually I'm going to have to replace these pillows. But over here on our coffee table, I really didn't have anything fun going on. So I brought in some things that I want to use to decorate that little centerpiece area. Okay, I love how this turned out. Y'all have to tell me what you think. Very simple, but like super coastal, pretty, neutral. I don't know what gave me the idea to put this candle in here, but I'm so glad that I did because I love the way it looks. And then I don't know if you guys follow the sister studio, Jen Reed, but she has her own candle company and it's like very nice. She also does diffusers and they last forever. They smell so good. So this is the always welcome scent and we have loved it. It makes our house smell amazing. But there is area one. Now let's get started on area two. Okay, so I'm gonna talk kind of quiet because Bungie's office is right there and he's on a call. But this is the area that we are going to decorate. I had a different picture here, I didn't like it. I changed it out to this mirror and I like it so much better now. This past weekend I got this vase from Target and I love the way this looks. So we're off to a good start. Also got these two um, really pretty stems. Hello. <laughs> um, if I can find these, I will link them for you. But I thought it was like a good neutral and kind of like a good um, transition piece from like summer to fall. So that's our start. Now we'll finish off this. Okay, so we're gonna get started on this soup. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a really good day for soup. Yeah. Nice and cozy. Extra cozy. Do you remember how good this is? I do, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> it. Okay, so to get started, you're gonna take some bacon, or if you want to skip this step and make it way easier, you can just use like real bacon pieces and not even have to like cook anything, but I want it like good, good. So we're gonna take our bacon, put it in the bottom of our Dutch oven, let that cook, then we'll pull it out and kind of toss everything else in. And that way it'll have that like, those bacon bits, literally, you get it? Bacon bits. The bits on the bottom yeah. that are bacon. Are you leaving the bacon <laughs> grease in there too? Only a very little bit and then take everything else out. Yeah. And then while our bacon is cooking in there, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up our celery and our carrots. You know what's great about cooking bacon in this thing? What? It has such high sides. Yes. That the grease doesn't go in any everywhere. I'm telling you, it is the best thing ever. I love cooking bacon. And I remember the last time we cooked bacon in here, mm -hmm. we loved the texture of it. Like we thought that it was like a great Yeah, that nice even heat distribution. Yeah, so good. Dad feeding you chicken days in May. <laughs> okay, 
Only the healthy stuff. That's right. Okay, it's time to start assembling this. So we got out a good bit of that bacon grease. We did leave a little bit in there. So now to our Dutch oven, we're gonna add in our chicken stock. Yeah, get all those good bits out of there. That's like half the flavor. Mm -hmm. You need six cups, so I'm gonna do half of another container as well. And then in goes our carrots and celery. One can of cheddar cheese soup. One packet of ranch seasoning. <laughs> and then we're going to add in our chicken. I did want to tell you, you can do like leftover chicken, grilled chicken, um, rotisserie, whatever you want. It just needs to be cooked chicken. And then one cup of milk. And I'm just going to eyeball this. I don't think it hurts if you have a little extra. That's probably good. Okay, so now we're just gonna give this a big stir. The recipe actually says to go ahead and add back in your bacon, but we did that last time and it made the bacon like kind of soggy and I want our bacon to like stay intact, you know? So I'm gonna wait till the last like five to 10 minutes whenever we add in our egg noodles and our cheese. But for now, we're just gonna get this thing like to a roll and boil and then turn it back down and let it simmer for like 20 to 25 minutes. This soup really only takes about 30 minutes all together minus like the prep work which is very easy Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. And if you remember last time, I did like, I think two slices of the Velveeta Kraft Singles or whatever, um, because y'all know we love that. It makes it just so creamy. I'm gonna do the same thing, except for I'm gonna use our white American. So there's one and two. Gonna go ahead and add in our bacon. And last but not least is our egg noodles. Okay, we'll give this a good stir and then pop the lid back on for like 10 minutes and our soup will be ready to eat. Okay, does this not look amazing? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste this. I'm willing to like burn my tongue just so I can have a bite right now. I'm like beside myself. My mouth is watering so much, I am so excited. I have literally been thinking about this soup for like weeks and weeks. And I'm like, I know it's the middle of summer, but I just need like a rainy day. So, you know, it can at least feel a little cozy. Mm -hmm. Just turn the air conditioning down a little more. Exactly, that's how you gotta do it. Funky. It is everything I've dreamed of and more. Like when I tell you this is one of the best soups that there ever was and so stinking easy to make. Y'all, if you have not made this, trust me, you need to make it. It is one of my like top favorite foods. And I didn't even used to love soup, you know? No, you didn't. Oh my goodness. I don't, think I, I don't think I ever saw the day where you would be like, oh, let me get some chicken noodle soup. I know, never, ever, ever. You wanna bite? Yeah, I'm gonna get, well, I'm, I'm gonna get a whole bowl here in a minute. Yep. I wasn't lying, was I? No, you were not exaggerating. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's like, insane. Mm -hmm. I think egg noodles are underappreciated. Agreed. That's like one of my favorite parts. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had lots of fun doing all the things. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out Skillshare down in my description box. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.